Wildcat fans join here with head men's basketball coach Greg Tonegal in his 16th season on another episode of Inside the 18. Coach, first time we've got to sit down and chat. It's been a unique start to the season, but it's been an impressive one. 4-0, best, hottest start in your 16 season year. I asked you a question the other day I won't ask on air. What's really clicking for your team right now? Well, we've got a lot of good players, and they're just playing at a high level right now, uh, to be honest with you. Kyle Mangus is uh, obviously a special talent, and it's his senior year, and I think you're seeing a sense of urgency in him. Dylan Alderson, the transfer from Toledo, another senior with one year uh, with the Wildcats, obviously has come out with a sense of urgency. And then Seth Maxwell, uh, although he was injured for a large part of the summer, he's playing some really good basketball right now. And I could go on and on. I mean, I could name five or six other guys. I think just as a team, we've come out ready for the season. Coach, uniqueness, obviously, with the change up of the schedule this weekend, going to play East-West Friday in a very good ball club in Oklahoma Wesleyan coming in here on Saturday. One of the things the Wildcats haven't done great thus far is shoot it from behind the arc. You lost a lethal guy in Kane and Coffee. finally got it going in this last game, 32% up there. But you were 11th in the country last year. Have you guys done anything to prepare uh, just to improve behind the arc? Not really. Have, haven't even talked about it because we've got a lot of shooters, and, and I think it's just a matter of time before they start making shots. So uh, I'm not too concerned about it. Coach, obviously you, you talk about Kyle Mangus and the sense of urgency for his senior year, and obviously last season was kind of cut. With the schedule shifts and the coverage, how have you been managing your guys with the uniqueness of you play Clark State, then you're going to play Rochester, then you're going to play Lincoln, and then you're not going to play Lincoln, you're not going to play Rochester, now we're going to play Rochester again. How do you keep the guys locked in? And you just told them a few minutes ago that they're going to bring a very good Oklahoma Wesleyan team in here on Saturday. Well, it's, it's the environment we're in. And I hate to call it the new normal, but I think we have to recognize things are going to be constantly changing. And if you're a control freak, this, this is going to get you. And I think most coaches are, unfortunately. Uh, I know I am at times. So I think just letting go and saying, whatever we got in front of us today is the most important thing. So that's practice today. Hopefully we get to play tomorrow. And then Saturday, hopefully we get another one. And I think our guys are understanding that and learning to adjust. One game at a time for the Wildcats. Picked preseason number three in the country. Join us at IWUWildcats.com for all the links to watch the Wildcats. Unfortunately, can't join us in person, but head right there for a great broadcast at IWUWildcats.com. Good luck this weekend, Coach. Thank you.